So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in wsreset.exe. Then this will come up, you're going to click on this. This will reset the Microsoft Store. And now for the second step, you're going to head over to search again and type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're going to scroll down a little bit until you find background intelligent transfer service. Now once you find this, you're going to double click on it. And then you're going to change your startup type to automatic and then click on start. And then click on OK. Now you want to click on restart the service. And now you want to click on any service and then click on W on your keyboard. You want to scroll down until you find Windows Update. You want to double click on it. Make the startup type automatic. And then make sure that the service is running. So click on Start, which will make it running. And then click on OK. Then you want to click on Restart the service. And now for the next step, you want to head over to Search and type in Check for Updates. Click on it. And then you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in change the date and time. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to make sure your time zone is correct. Scroll down. Make sure they have set time automatically turned on. Scroll down again and then click on sync now. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in Microsoft Store. Right click on it and then click on app settings. And now once you're on this, you're going to scroll down and then click on terminate. And then you're going to click on reset and then click on reset again. Wait for this to load. And now once you've done all the steps in the video, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.